All right, so I'll be the first one to admit that I am sometimes overly critical at Nintendo. Their game policy, their YouTube policy, their inventory policy, their game policy, all other types of policies sometimes. It's more often than not, I find it's actually quite bad. <laughs> uh, the whole Nintendo NES Classic debacle absolutely made my blood boil over. And I went over to Twitter and had like a long rant one day when that whole thing happened. But times like this when accessories like the Nintendo Switch dock come out, it actually gives me a little bit of hope that Nintendo knows what they're doing. They actually are in touch with the consumer base because it just it's an accessory that just makes so much sense. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing it. I'm gonna give you guys my impressions and hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so if you already own Nintendo Switch, there really isn't too much secrets of exactly what this is and what it's all about. It's literally just a second dock for your console. And there are a couple reasons why you may want to spend the 90 bucks and pick this up. And I'll be honest with you, it's mostly due to pure laziness <laughs> and I'm a lazy person. So me myself, I like to transport my Nintendo Switch between rooms because I usually have it hooked up to my desk because I like to have it there if I want to just play Breath of the Wild or if I'm doing some recording for you guys. But at the same time, sometimes I have people over at my house and we want to rage and play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So what this saves me from doing is it saves me from having to reach behind my desk, unplug the power adapter, unplug the HDMI cable, lug it back downstairs, then lug it back up to my desk when I want to return it to its rightful home. And normally what I do, I'll be honest with you, I have like four PlayStation 4s in my house because that's just how it's happened. Some of them have been sent to me for free, some of them I purchased myself, but having the multiple consoles just makes a life a whole lot easier. And with something like this, it just prevents me from having to shell out the full price of buying a second console. So instead of spending an extra 300 bucks of buying a Nintendo Switch again, a whole separate one, I can just spend the 90 bucks on buying the dock separately. And the beauty of the Nintendo Switch is everything, all the memory, all your games, all your accounts is actually stored on the screen itself. So literally you're taking everything with you directly downstairs. You don't have to re-download everything. You don't have to update everything. It's just good to go right away. And at 90 bucks, it's not the cheapest accessory on the market, I admit, but if you consider the fact that the AC adapter that you get sells by itself for 30 bucks, uh, it's still kind of expensive, but you can still somewhat justify it just for pure ease and making your life easier. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Quick as unboxing ever, nothing too stimulating. Uh, if you were interested in picking up one of these, I do have an Amazon affiliate link in the description that you guys can check out. If you use it, I do get a small percentage of the sale. In terms of critique, I really can't say anything negative about it because it's literally the exact same thing that you get in the OEM box. If I were to give Nintendo a recommendation, I would have liked to have seen some different colors. I would have gladly paid an extra 10, 15 bucks for different colors, a red one, a blue one, a white one, or if you want to get crazy, maybe some special stencil designs with like Pokemon or Mario, I would have made it rain to pay a little bit extra for that, but you really can't go wrong with black. In terms of other accessories that I'm looking forward to, I'm really excited for the Splatoon 2 colored Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons that are going to be coming out in a couple months. I am in desperate need of a second pair of Joy-Cons. I don't really want to pick up another red and blue one and the gray ones really don't do much for me, but the Splatoon color ones are gonna be right up my alley with the neon green personally for myself. And as well, I know that Tara is super excited for the pink ones because pink ones are right up her alley. I'm probably going to have to import them because currently as it stands right now, they're only gonna be released in the United Kingdom as well as Japan, but it's not gonna be a problem. I'll just unbox them, import them and unbox them and make a video for you guys in the future. And as well, if you guys want a rundown of my top Nintendo Switch accessories that have come out thus far, I did do a separate video for that as well. You can find that link to that in the description or there may be like a bubble right here. But in that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of the unboxing of the Nintendo Dock. Um, like I said, it's probably one of the most useful accessories that come out if you're transporting your Nintendo Switch between separate rooms. And I am personally looking forward to using it a lot. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, as always, drop the video a quick thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. As always, have a fast day.